Hey there everybody, my name is Gademo, welcome back for another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Now we are at the uh, second half of the season. This is what we're going to simulate. Hopefully make it to the playoffs. If we make it to the playoffs, maybe start it or not. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on how long the video is going to be. But we've got a trade or maybe a couple trades to do. Maybe just one trade. Um, maybe. I'm not sure if we should do a trade or not, guys. But you guys should let me know. I mean, there's a, um, we are in a wild card spot, right? We are really tight right now. We're working it out. It is we're basically at the same point as last year, and last year we messed up completely with nine loss in a row. I don't want that to happen ever again. So I might be tempted to just get a player to help us now. On my free time, I did switch up the lineups just to see if it worked out or something. Like I switched up a couple of things. I think I switched up Nash with Panic or something like that. Also switch, switched up the um, the penalty kill lines because they were awful. They were not good at all. And uh, I guess I switched up some strategies and stuff. Like I want to give a chance to this guy. I really want to. He's our first overall completely. So, I mean, our first ever draft pick too. He needs to stay. I mean, we need to give him a chance or something. But then again, he's not producing. Like, look at this. He's a grinder. Sure, but like he's not producing that much. And he's minus 10 and 0. So, it's not like he's super good or anything. He's got more takeaways than giveaways, so he's playing good defensively, but I don't know guys, it seems a little bit like he could definitely be, he's definitely going to become our fir a first liner, but I don't know. I, I just don't know about him. I, I just want to see if we can get something out of instead in exchange for him, like a better player or something that could really help us out. So what do we need exactly? in the first line because you can just imagine just imagine if we just put like that right there all right so yes per fast obviously is going to play in the second line and shaw is going to play in the third line third line is going to stay the same because it's the same thing it's a grinder anyways now we're going to get two snipers in the second line and yes per fast since he's a sniper yeah this second line is going to be hurt a lot but we need right here what do we need exactly Unless we got like no two playmakers is even worse, so I prefer to have two uh, snipers. So we got the playmaker obviously here. We've got uh, Brassa, which is a two-way forward and a grinder. Uh, I mean, playmaker two-way forward. We might need either a grinder or a sniper, something like that along these lines would be pretty good for us. I feel like um, it would help us help us a lot so maybe we can try that out maybe we can try that out so let's just see if i can't find anybody to trade marjimaki with let's try that out guys we might be able to get actually Nika, nikita kucherov imagine if we could get him he's a first liner obviously he's uh definitely a scorer as you can see 32 goals he's definitely the scorer we're looking for the sniper here the one that's going to put a lot of goals for our team and help us out a lot. It would be the one. Uh, I feel like he would help us out a lot. They have kind of the same record as us. Even though we're a hopeful team, they're a champion team. Look at this. We've got the same record. Exactly, almost. They got one more loss than us in overtime and something like that. But Marja Mackey, I mean, I could give him away. It's a grinder for a sniper. And a sniper that's guaranteed really good. Compared to Marjimaki, you don't really know what to expect out of him. And all in their top a prospect, a top 9, a medium top 9. Let's see if we can get that. Doesn't look like it, so we're probably going to have to give them a little bit more. Okay, third round and second round. All in their Marjimaki, come on now. There, it went through. A big trade. Big tra I feel like for now, they definitely won the trade. In the long term, they definitely won the trade. In the short term though, we are the ones who, uh, who um, won it because 
obviously it's right now we need some quality right now we need to make it to the playoffs and we got that veteran right there the first liner veteran that's exactly what we can get out of a big prospect like Marja Mackey who's not producing so I'm I'm kind of happy about it we'll see eventually in a couple next years how Marja Mackey does with um, his new team but I feel like Kucherov is going to play absolutely awesome with the team we have right now all right he's absolutely going to help us out big time so I feel like he's going to be a big help really with Brasson and Lafrenia he doesn't have big players with him but I feel like he's going to e even help out Lafrenia a lot Imagine, like a prospect like that playing alongside of Kucherov is going to help him out so much it's going to tremendously help him out and uh I feel like uh, it's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good for him. So let's just go ahead and um, simulate the season now. I feel like we're ready for that. We don't have any any other trade to do really. Aside from uh, is Flurry doing good right now? He is. So all both of these goaltenders are playing good. We don't have any trades to do aside from that. I feel like it was the only big trade that we could done or could have done, and we did it. It is officially our best player, obviously. So, 54 points. I mean, he's got less points than games, but he's got a lot of goals. He's definitely a scorer. I feel like he's going to be able to help us out tremendously. So, let's just see what we can get out of this month. Since Ever since we've got our new... We basically did our new trade. Now, I did forget about uh, looking at the other trades around the league, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. I feel like the biggest trade was ours. Now we start off with a four, the four game, five game losing streak, six game losing streak. All right, we're we're gonna have a horrible month, which is exactly not what I wanted to get. This is uh, definitely gonna not uh, gonna hurt our chance for the playoffs for sure. We need remember we need the forty games. All right, we need to forty. We need the forty wins in order to get to the playoffs. At least have a chance at the playoffs. We we I feel like we're gonna get it because now we are definitely in a in a good spot. We ended up uh, finishing the month pretty good, but it's pretty much a tie tie when you think about it. So we have the forty wins, but now it's a matter of does the other team have it too? You know that's the problem. So let's look at our stats after one month. Seven is six seven and two after. Uh, the the month basically of February I believe or March it's a month of March so it's pretty tight we're still in it we're still working for it uh, working for the wild card spot we haven't completely shut ourselves down the foot the, the foot we're still in it but I mean look at this they're still in it too there's another team right now that's still in it as well it's the San Jose Sharks so we're working against three teams right here. Blackhawks, who we're not going to catch up to. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to catch up to them. And 91 points already. It's going to be pretty hard to do that. Uh, we've got the Jets, who could very well win all their games. And we could lose all of our games, just like last year. And it could be very bad for us. So we don't want that. And the, uh, the Sharks, really. The Sharks are at the same amount of points as us. Just less wins, which makes us ahead of them. We really need, we really need the lock right here. We do not want to make it just like last year. All right, this is exactly the same point right here. I want to see as well how uh, how well Lafreniere. Actually, yeah, they're playing very well. The first line is playing very well now with Kucherov in the lineup. If we win against the Blackhawks, it's going to be great for us. We need to have an, another win, please. You guys can do it, please. Oh my, we get rocked completely 7-2 to two against Black, uh, Blackhawks manhandled us. Oh, this is not, okay, the Blackhawks definitely go, went ahead big time on us. Fortunate enough, uh, Winnipeg lost their last game, I believe. They probably, I don't know if they had a game or not, but they, they, they definitely, I think they did. Uh, we definitely have an advantage over them. I don't think they can catch up to the, uh, to us. Yes, they can actually catch up to us if they win their last two games. I guess. We've got still three games, guys. The, the uh, Flames 
have 88 points. Oh boy, I'm scared. This, the Flames have one more game though. I think we made it to the playoffs. We're pretty much in the race against... Uh, well, we still need to make sure that the Flames don't win their last game, right? So, I'm scared. I'm super scared. Please, let's go. Let me win. No, not a regulation loss. No, <laughs> no, 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 don't do this to me, game. We're still in the playoff. We made it. All right. We clinched it anyways because these uh, the two other games, yeah, the uh, Flames lost their last game too, which means they went out of the race. And Winnipeg was already out of the race, it looks like. So we clinched it. Oh, even though we lost both of our, uh, our game right there. Oh my God. It scared me half to death. I don't know why the team is doing so bad uh, at the very end of the season. Like, look at this. Three losses in regulation in a row. Like, how do you want me? <laughs> we just got the 40 wins, so it helped us out tremendously to make the playoffs. God damn it. How are we losing so much? Like, what is this? So far in the new month, look at this. New month, we got one win. Three losses in regulation. And uh, the the one the one win we got. So look, look at this, one game, one goal, one goal right there. Two goals, two goals. We can't even score more than two goals. How we're gonna make it to the play? Like how we're gonna play in the playoffs? It's gonna be awful if we can't even play uh, good. Like, what's going on here? We're we're not even producing. Last game, guys. And you know what I'm gonna do for the last game? Um. I'm pretty sure I want to do, I'm going to stay, uh, probably keep the playoffs for another video. So last game, we're going to simulate like this. We're going to actually watch it, watch the, our players play. So, or, or maybe not, just simulate it like that. So let's just see right here. 0-0 zero, zero after the first period. Second period, we're, we're actually, well, it's only one shot more. So it's kind of an even game. Second period. We're gonna lose again in regulation, it looks like, because we're a, a bunch of dumbasses who don't know how to win games at the last, at the last period of the season. So Foligno and du, uh, Dubois scored on Grubauer. So Grubauer is the one uh, goaltending at the very last game. It should be fucking Fleury, but oh well. Oh my God! All right, let's see how we're gonna go for the last. Like, look at this. This is our last game. This is an indication of how we're going to play in the playoffs, basically. All right, we've got Shaw producing right here. I need something. Like, I need something out of these guys. Uh, we're going to get to the playoffs. There we go, Kucherov. I need to see him produce in the playoffs. Now, I got him. Hopefully, in the playoffs, he's going to be really great for us. We're going to overtime. Can we win this game? Or at least we got a point out of it. 90 points a season. It's a first for our team at least. But uh can we can we win this game? We got some uh Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, there we go. Darren Helm and Nash uh clinched it and we end up winning the last game of the season, which is really good for us. That's what I wanted to see. We actually got uh, two goals. Uh third goal doesn't count since it's uh in shootout, but actually got three uh, two goals. Uh once again, we can't find a, a way to score more than two goals but it's okay guys it's okay oh my god i don't know we're gonna who we're gonna face but uh it's gonna be pretty rough whoever it is so playoff time guys against dallas so we're facing off against dallas all right we gotta view the lineups we gotta view the lineups of dallas just to see what they got obviously we know what we have it's not uh, the best thing ever I'm, not, I'm pretty sure we are not, definitely not a, a playoff team, but uh, we've got enough like veterans in there to be able to do something. We've got this first lineup, which is absolutely going to destroy ours. Like we've got Jamie Ben with Tyler Sagan and Radulov. Now it's a playmaker with okay two playmakers and a power forward. This might actually be not yeah not be good at all for them. It's not going to be well. They don't have a good combination. They have on the second line now. This is pretty weak on the left wing. Nieto with Devin Shore and Guryanov. Guryanov is pretty good. 
There's a sniper two-way forward and another two-way forward. So it's pretty decent, a pretty decent lineup. But um, I feel like, yeah, they're definitely not, not a good uh, second line. They're pretty weak. Fourth line, yeah. Third line and fourth line are really weak. It's only the first line it looks like they have. They've got a pretty deep uh, defensive core, just like ours. It's pretty much the same as ours. And goaltender-wise, they've got a weak goaltending uh, position. So we'll just see how it goes, really. They've got weak goaltending. They only have one first lineup. <sighs> let's do this. Let's let's really do this, guys. I really want my team to produce. Let's go. You guys know what to do. You need. It's uh, it's a playoff time. Uh, actually, I need to look at the uh, the stats while I'm at it. So let's just look at the stats before we start the playoffs. Obviously, our best score, uh, most of the goals he did it uh, on the Tampa Bay Lightning, but he did four or three goals on our team so far. He's got uh, 37 goals. Our best score, Kucherov, and our uh, it's basically our only player who does 37 goals and plus. Um, 71 points, so still the best player of our team, Kucherov. Unfortunately, he was not able. Now, this is a disappointment. He should be able to do more points than games. But I'm going to let it fly since we traded for him. We're going to let it fly, obviously. 71 points. Uh, Bressard is 57 points, so really good. for the. He's playing on the first line, obviously, but really good for him. Let's just look at the forwards. Who played well, basically. Uh, yes, per fast second line, really good for him. Uh, Nash, uh, third line. So Rick Nash really on the third uh, third liner, 44 points, really good out of him. 44 points for uh, Vanek for a third line as well. Uh, the Eric Alla, really good. Riley Nash, really good as well. Lafreniere, he's a depth four guys and very good first season. He played most of the year and first. At the first line, he uh, really good, really good for him. Let me just see how he ended up with a uh, plus zero. So, might be tempted now to switch it up. Actually, I, I don't want to because the first line is really good. So, I'm gonna keep it as it is, I guess. I, sh I just can't say switch the first line. First line, I can't do anything about it. Uh, the second line as well. Second line is just horrible. I can't do anything about it. Um, Lafrenia, so really good uh, first season for him. Shaw, really good third liner. Skevier, fourth, fourth, uh, third liner. Now Lindbergh, third liner. So Lindbergh had a, a tough, uh, a tough season. Lindbergh, not a good season for him. Twenty-four points. He's a third liner, so not producing like he should, and he. Uh, uh, underperforming and also he's got the minuses so not keeping him if I uh, no, does he still have a contract he still have a contract so he still ha is gonna have a chance for our team with our team Darren Helm produced of course he's a fourth liner so defense wise what do you have defense wise Darlene which he produced really good for us all right I'm uh, happy with that he produced for us top four um, top four Larson as well. He did not produce underperformed, but he's got the pluses, so I'm keeping him for sure. Uh, Schmaltz now, Schmaltz is a top four underperformed and he's got the minuses. So, Schmaltz definitely do not, li do not like him, do does not produce well. So, he's still got he's still in the team, anyways, because he's still gonna have one more year with us. Daniel Donner Nurse underperform and basically the same thing as small so both of these guys not good enough uh donald nurse i thought he would help us out but i guess not uh carlo we got uh, a good well good enough because he's in the pluses morin he's a top six he did not produce so we got three actually Three defensemen out of uh, out of six. That the half of the defensemen who did not produce basically. Fleury, twenty nine wins, but he's played pretty well. I'm looking at this right here. This is what I'm looking at, and they're both playing very well. They're both starters. They both should have ninety ones minimum, and they did. So pretty strictly the same record. Uh, also, so let me just see really quick who is the best players. Who were the best players of the league? The best score was Ovi, of course, 
52 goals like always and um, we've got a best player of the league is Tyler Sagan so we're going against we're going up against Tyler Sagan, the, ter the first and the third best players of the league which is rough it's pretty rough guys I'm happy that Crosby is producing the Philip Zadina is in the Mont is in Montreal guys what all right Philip Zadina in Montreal that's interesting how is that possible I thought is, isn't Kakanyemi supposed to be with them what is this anyways he's producing producing for them big time Radulov all of this all right we've got all these players um, we've got the defenseman wise the best defenseman was Ristolainen and Dali both basically the same points so really good for them we don't have any defensemen on our part and goaltender wise the best goaltender looks like it's going to be if it's going to be definitely Borbowski with 44 points uh, 44 wins and 22.6 uh, for saving percentage Crawford all this good stuff so we got all these players best rookie who's the best rookie Elijah Simpson 63 points as his first season guys first line are already yeah definitely a good player for Colorado uh, I'm loving it Lafreniere went all the way at fourth he's a depth forward remember that so really good Nick Suzuki all right well that's pretty good for us I'm happy with that happy with that uh, we're gonna simulate the um, playoffs I'm pretty sure we're not gonna go that far we're probably gonna end up losing but uh, at the first round but my obje my objective was definitely to go to the playoffs just make it to the playoffs we got two uh, we got two goalies that we can count on right here we got better goaltenders a better offense definitely better depth uh, offense and defense is kind of the same so I want to see what we can do really so we're gonna go slow time simulation feels like it's the best simulation so yes per fast ends up scoring on Bernier this is what we can do right now all right I know we had a hard time scoring more than two goals uh, at the very end here but we can definitely uh, do that now because we've got not not so good the uh, goalies in front of us so first after the first period we got Jesper fast who scored on the second line so second line really producing for us the fourth line is producing for us as well Lindbergh I'm loving at we've got a power play nobody scored that's okay we still got a we got another power play we scored this time with Kucherov on it obviously it's, he's going to score so first line second line fourth line twice so fourth line really coming up to us helping us tremendously and we're coming up to the third period I'm pretty sure we got this on the bank at this point Fleury can definitely uh, go with that Seguin scores one on him though but we we're definitely gonna win this one don't want to jinx us but at 10 minutes left definitely we win this one oh my god Nieto on the second line oh my god okay we got three minutes left we get a penalty we're good yes we're good okay my god we just scored two quick ones on the um the third period there but with our four game um our four goal advance we were able to keep it with Fleury of course he wasn't I'm pretty sure he was pretty de sure that he was not gonna like mess that up like with four goals in advance for him so definitely uh really good Darren Helm has two points after the first game we're coming up for the uh, second uh, playoff, the second round of the playoffs against Minnesota Wild, guys. So, who made it, basically? Did anybody? No, everybody's playing at the same time. Montreal is against Boston. This is a really, that's a really good one. All right, that's a really good one. Looks like Washington got eliminated. So, Washington is definitely not going to win uh, another cup. Who is the... I wonder... I forgot who was it that won the uh, the cup previously. Hmm. I think it's Minnesota actually. I, we might be up against Minnesota, which is the uh, the Stanley Cup champions. I believe they are. Yes, Professor is playing very very good. Let's just see. We're gonna look every time at the lineups we've got in front of us. So now we've got the Wild in front of us. So the Wild, Minnesota. There we go. All right, first line is not that good. First line, I've got to tell you guys, is 
under it's kind of our uh, ours like ours first line is not that good uh, uh, kunin now the second line is definitely better second line is the definitely it's a good line third line is it's decent i guess it's decent uh decent line it's kind of weak though a, t a weak third line and a fourth line that's pretty i mean pretty good i guess well it's kind of weak yeah i guess it's a weak team anyways defense wise weaker than us and goaltenders they've got a good first line a, a first goaltender which is it's the d goaltender we're gonna face against so they've got dubnik in there so they've got gold a good goaltender uh, offense is really weak for them so they shouldn't be able to score too much on us but they've got a defense as well that's pretty weak so they don't have too much guys i'm expecting a lot of you all, all of you so second round against minnesota let's go i know we can do this all right now we get a long penalty kill but a power play right after they score on the, our power play oh my god fuck how is that like they, they do a shorthanded goal are you serious shirakov what is this second period now how do we get scored on, okay there we go lafrenia on the first line that's what i'm talking about and we're coming back shaw there we go shaw on the third line big big time we're coming back that's what i wanted to see we came back to answer after that uh, horrible thing that just happened we got a power play we can't score on the power play for we, we scored once out of four or five times i believe so far in the playoffs we're coming up in the third period it's a, it's all about Le Fleury now guys all about the, our goaltender since he's got uh, one goal lead I don't know if he's gonna be able to take it uh, we're definitely getting outshotted uh, outshooted outplayed right now but um, we is managing to keep the puck out of the net so far we've got five minutes left out of the period can we do it two minutes one minute we did it we won here we go this is what's so cool about single knockouts it may it gives our ch the chance for our team to make it all the way up that you guys you you never know who can win the cup with um, a single knockout anybody can win the cup it's a uh, anybody situation really uh, really so i'm really happy about that we managed to keep it only two goals for us but uh, that was pretty scary we managed to do it guys so Pittsburgh against Montreal. Montreal might not have a chance at the cup, which is really cool. I imagine uh, we still have a chance at the cup, man. We're third round now against Anaheim. Let's see what Anaheim has now. Does Anaheim have a good team or not? I doubt it. We'll see what they have. Actually, they have a, a pretty decent first line. Actually, a weak first line since they've got two second liners, but they've got uh get slapped so i guess it's kind of the same as me it's uh, it's better than mine a second line de what they've got a first liner ricard raquel playing on the second line so okay yeah well definitely the, the second line is op this third line really good third line and fourth fourth line is weak all right okay They've got a good offensive team, a defensive team, really good defensive team as well. And they've got a good goaltender. So this is a deep team. I might not be, we might not be able to beat them right now. Uh, this might be the team that uh, beats us guys. Um, we, we still have a chance. We're still in it, but I mean, this might be the one. This might be the one right here. All the way already or only 30 seconds in the th in the game guys we get scored on by ryan kessler unbelievable this is what i'm talking about they've got the offense the defense and they've got uh the goaltender so oof it's gonna be rough for us it's gonna be rough first period after the first period it's kind of an even game actually it's an even game but uh they got a quick one at 30 seconds we gotta get a quick one too or something we gotta just reply there we go eric Halla on the uh first second line second line is answering big time that right now vanek and Alla, both of them i'm loving it i'm loving it we're starting to outshoot them a little bit but they're coming back with the shots as you can see we got another penalty kill 
We're taking a lot of penalties, that's for sure. It's definitely an even game. We got power play right here. We can't score for the for the love of us. We can't even score on power plays, which is not helping us. Like if we could score on power plays, it would help us out too so much. But we only scored once so far. We're, it's the same situation as last game. Fleury, you've got one goal, uh, one goal lead. Uh, it's all about you, my man. It's all about you. I'm, uh, I'm putting all my confidence in you. Uh, I'm trusting you to do the deed. You've got one goal lead. Uh, I guess you can't. Ricard Raquel scores one on him. Uh, at half of this uh, the period. It's a really even game right here. Really tough, guys. Really tough game. We're going to go to the OT. Yes, we're going to OT. We're going to watch it. Absolutely going to watch it. We need to watch it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Let's see if we can do it. Holy, this is going to be scary. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be absolute. We've got Darlene right here. Already passing it to Brassard. If we win this, we're going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Remember that. After we win this game, it's the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, against either Pittsburgh or Montreal, which is going to be really tough. Just like this team we're facing. Anaheim is a tough team, man. I, I wouldn't be mad to lose against them, but we're in OT right now. Everything can happen. OT single knockout, 2-2. Two two. Let's see what, we, what can happen. Can we finally score a third goal or something? Oh my god, that was really close. But it's an offside situation. Oh, I'm, I really want my team to, to score so bad, guys. They've got the first line in there. We've got ours as well. We got the. Is there a chance to look at, at Lafreniere as well? We just uh, all the way on the left on the boards right there, as you can see. So this is how we play. There we go. That's what I like to see our defensemen going in there. But now it's it's a turnover, so it completely misses the uh, the pass. Silverberg's gonna drive in there, but Fleury's back. He's good. He's good for it. It's not a, It's not gonna give that a goal. Come on now. You're gonna need to do a lot more than that, and you. That's a good chance for you guys to look at our jerseys, at least your away jerseys. I, I really love them, so you guys can take a look. Give me a, give me a, a, a chance. You guys can take a look and uh, have a chance to basically see how it looks. Really, I feel like it, it looks really good. We got Darlene right here playing the. Actually, that was Larson playing it to Darlene. We got Lafreniere in there. Going to try to find Brassard, which he does. Uh, Brassard is going to shoot it, but it's going to get saved. Silverberg's going to drive it back, I guess. Silverberg, pretty bad right now with the commentary. I'm sorry, but I'm just so focused right now. I, w I don't want my team to lose. Oh my god, that was almost a rebound for Getzlav right there. Almost bad for us. Uh, we've got Lafreniere, who's going to pick it up. He's going to drive all the way. They're giving up all the space in the world. Good lord. All right, Darlene. Dallin's gonna shoot it. A point shot, but nothing. It doesn't go through Gibson. Gibson is good enough. Pretty much the same uh, goaltenders we've got one against the, uh, each other right now. Fleury, Gibson, basically uh, the same talent at this point of the car their career. So let's see who's gonna best. Uh, who's gonna be the best goaltender at the end of the day? Really, who's gonna have the uh, the advantage? We're still. Uh, we're all like. Already at half of the OT. This is crazy, man. Who is this? I don't, I don't, I don't know. He was driving, but uh, Darlene's gonna stop that right now. He's gonna make a turnover like a dumbass, though. Terrible passes right there, and we lose. We end up losing because of Darlene's stupid passes, and now we just lost, guys. So we just lost in overtime. It's a single knockout, so definitely we're eliminated. That's okay. I'm not mad to lose against them. Looks like Anaheim's gonna go to the Stanley Cup playoffs. We were right there. We had, we were one goal away. That's the uh, story of our team, basically. One goal away, always, but one goal away from the Stanley Cup playoffs, uh, Stanley Cup Finals, which I'm really happy about. Uh, about it. Guess that's gonna get uh, that cup right there, the Campbell. Really happy for him, I guess. The, the captain right here and they made it so overall I'm really pretty happy with it this was a pretty uh, even game when you think about it we did what we could but um, we managed to get all the way to the third round the, I mean the third round of the playoffs which 
I'm really happy about it. I wasn't even expecting to make it past the first round. But obviously, it's the single knockout, so we got lucky, I guess. And we managed to get all the way to the third round, which I'm really happy. That's a successful year. Absolutely a successful year. And since we made it that far, now I'm hoping to make it back there next year or even further, you know. Now I'm hoping I'm, I've got high expectations because of that. We're going to simulate to the draft, look at who got, uh, who's retired basically. And we're not going to do the draft. We're going to do this in the next, uh, and I won the cup. So we won, we basically lost against the Stanley Cup champions. Montreal went all the way to the final, the finals of the cup just to lose that. Oh my God. After 27 or 28 years or something without the cup, they get the chance finally in the, they completely lose it against Anaheim. That must suck so hard for them. Good Lord. Anyways, Anaheim, we, we end up losing against the Stanley Cup champions. So that's definitely a good thing right there. Definitely a good thing, which helps up, uh, ends, ups up the ante really quick uh, for us for next year. Anaheim's going to be the first draft. It's going to have the first overall. St. Louis... Uh, St. Louis is going to have the two, uh, the second one, Vancouver, the third one, via Ottawa, Florida, we've got San Jose, we've got Florida, which Florida, okay, it's got fourth and sixth. Florida is going to have really good prospects. Vegas, all right, where are we? We're pretty far, I'm pretty sure. Florida's got three, at least three. Look at this, we've got fourth, sixth, and twelfth. My God, the prospects gonna, the, they're going to have is going to be ridiculous. Uh, view retired players. Who retired? Do we have some good... Yeah, we do have some legends in there who retired. We got uh, Patrick Marlowe, guys, who retired on the Leafs. He retired uh, after, at 41 years of age. We've got Marian Osa. Uh, Osa. We retired as well. All right, so these are the ones who retired, basically. Okay, really good. We've got defense wise defense wise. Brent Burns. So four so far four legends who retired as you can see. Brent Burns 747 points, which is really good for a defenseman. Really good as well for Chara, 682 points. Really good for these two. And uh goalies. Goalies, we do have almost a legend. He, for a goaltender, for me to have to be a legend, he needs to have at least 30, 350 wins to be into top 50 at least. So he was almost there, Letanen. Not a legend exactly, but almost there. Definitely a superstar. Yeah, ended up uh, finishing that, his career over there. So I don't. I, I forgot to look if it was anybody. There was anybody who retired on our team, but that's okay, guys. We're gonna save it for uh, save the draft, the free agency, all of that good stuff. It's the next video. Pretty happy with the season we got, guys. Overall, we uh, had a tough time at the very end there. Almost did not make it. The only reason why we made it to the playoffs is because the Flames and the other team I don't even remember who we were up against, but the Flames and the other team that we were up against uh, shot themselves in the foot as well. So we were three teams that were playing bad at the very end, and we were the one with the sh with uh, the longer stick basically. So I'm really loving it. I hope you guys are loving it as well. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did like it a lot. Um, and uh, I'm gonna see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.